Hi there, this is Andrew from Lightworks Photography and uh, today I thought I would um, start sort of a video series really. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a few of these based on, on, on one topic which is, which is about how to get natural, natural photographs at your wedding. So um, photographs that, that, that are really authentic and just a really sort of you and really represent the, the wedding in its sort of gen genuine sort of a, a character really rather than, rather than pictures where maybe the photographer's had a lot of input on it and things have been set up and you've you've, you've posed and it's been slightly stylized not that there's anything wrong with that um, but my style of photography is very much about how things happen and and the reality so I'm going to do a series over the next few weeks based on this um, and it's going to be built around uh, three sort of pillars really and the, the first one of those is um, that you need to sort of set the scene really you need to you need to sort of set the wedding up to to allow you to get moments of natural emotion and sort of natural happenings and reality and allow your guests some some space and some sort of um, opportunity to do that um, the second thing is that you yourself as the as the bride or the groom or the couple um, also need to have your mindset needs to be right and you need to be aware of um, what it's like I suppose to be photographed um, in this sort of natural way in, in a way it's a bit weird because we're not we're not used to it we're not used to being photographed um, professionally not not very often anyway um, and also I think when when you do have your photograph taken we've got this ter terrible preconditioning to like sort of smile for the camera um, which in my, my the way I photograph I, do, I don't need you to do that at all I don't want that it's completely the, the antithesis of what I'm about and what I, I think wedding photography should be um, and the third thing um, is about choosing the right photographer getting the right photographer not necessarily me this is this is really important that you get the right person for the job that that is on the right wavelength and the same wavelength as you and 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 really has this sort of authenticity about their their way of um, of photographing so I'm going to unpack this a little bit over the next few weeks but things to sort of if you want to take, sort of take away from this is it, we, you need to allow think of ways that you can allow people to to really express themselves at your wedding there's, there's things that you can do in terms of setup and timing and and just how things the flow of the day and the people that you choose even that can make your wedding you know have this real sort of natural authenticity to it and give you opportunity for uh, for, for this type of expression which I think is really important Second thing is that you need to be mentally in the right sort of space to to to, to be um, uh, I suppose receptive on the day to not having to do anything to have your pictures taken. You've got to be receptive to being normal and natural. Um, and the third thing is 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 choosing the right photographer. So have a look at this for the next few weeks. I'll do it on a Wednesday, um, and I'll sort of develop what each of those or unpack. I hate that. Unpack what unpack each of those little things one at a time week by week, bit by bit, um, and I hope over the next few weeks it's really helpful. Okay, thanks ever so much, see you in the next video, bye.